Hey guys, this is all stream that back with another episode of WWE 2K19 my career mode and we have some messages uh, From Sasha Banks heard you're not feeling great after what happened with Bray. Let me know what I can do From Bailey. I'm so worried about you. Please let me know you're okay ASAP. I knew something like this would happen From Cole Quinn what happened? Are you okay? You know I'd be there in a heartbeat to come see you, but I have a match tonight. Try calling you again later. Uh, Baron Blade, what Bray did to you was sick. I hope you're okay. I know you don't want my help, but I'm here if you need anything. I mean it. And Jason Jordan, I thought this picture would make you feel better. And we also have a podcast. That looks like up to no good with no good. We have a huge show for you today recapping everything that happened at WWE's TLC event, but the first thing we have to discuss is that, uh, encounter, for lack of a better term, between Buzz and Bray Wyatt. I certainly wouldn't call it a match, that's for sure. I've watched it a few times now, Hood, and I'm still not sure what really happened. It, it, it was bizarre to say the least. I mean, if, if I had a nickel for every time my opponent knocked me out with gas in the locker room before the match, then brought me to his creepy compound where I had to fight off all sorts of crazy things only for it to end with the fire, then I'd be flat broke because <laughs> that just doesn't happen. <laughs> I mean, we're at a point where I'm questioning if the authorities should be called. Buzz was kidnapped, essentially. You, you, you might have a point there, Pete. What, what happened has no place in wrestling. Well, we're talking about a guy who has everything going for him, and now after what Bray Wyatt did, he might never be the same. It's disgusting. Yeah, from what I hear, he, he, he's, he's in a bad way, and it may, it may be out for a while. Uh-huh. Well, what do you think's going to happen with the title? This is bigger than titles, man. We're talking about a man's career and well-being. You said it yourself. Buzz might never be the same after this. Bruises and bones will heal, but your mental psyche will not. It's times like this, I'm glad I'm retired, because I would want nothing to do with Bray Wyatt. Well, hard to jump into the rest of the TLC card after that, so uh, let's take a break, and then we'll try to get into it. Yeah, that dude is nuts, man. Come on, like that. We have some stuff to spend, too. Some style points. So let's see where we're at here. We'll grab stamina. I don't think we've done this one yet, have we? We have not. Uh, we can do technical submission defense. And let's go ahead and just get all the way up to that. That was chain wrestling. We have arm durability, which gives us... What is that? The hammer throw. So we could do aerial offense plus two, which gives us a, um, what are those called? Overcharge point. Do aerial offense on that side. Do springboard offense. And that will be on both sides of that. Environmental Offense, which will give us a Ladder Bridge Power Bomb. And we have almost everything unlocked here. We're really, really close to having everything unlocked. And we have five points left. And that puts us above the superstar level. Let's do the pin escape. We do stamina recovery. And stamina. And strength. And then the substyle points. If we come all the way up here, I think we only needed one. Nope, more than more than that. Okay. Um, 
Let's go ahead and do strike reversal. I thought we were further along than that, but we're not. And overcharge, we have one. I think this is the one where there's only one left. And it is. How are you feeling today? Not great. I'm sore, I have a nasty headache. I only remember bits and pieces of what happened. Probably a side effect of whatever Bray Wyatt used to knock you unconscious. Could also explain some of the things I saw out there. A full recovery is what's most important right now. But unfortunately, we don't know yet how long that might take. So I have some bad news. Triple H is making me strip you of the Intercontinental Championship due to the injuries you've suffered. I'll make it back in time to defend the title. I know I can. I believe you can too. But Triple H doesn't want to wait around and see. He said his decision was final. I'm sorry. I'll try my best to give you a chance to regain the Intercontinental title when you return. Now try to get some rest, okay? Weeks later. It's been weeks since we last saw Buzz after his kidnapping and battle with Bray Wyatt at Welcome Wyatt's back compound. To I know you don't like to ease into things, so you'll be in action tonight in a tag match versus the bar. Yeah, I got your text about it earlier. Who's my partner? I thought I'd leave that up to you. The scuttlebutt around town is that you're looking for a co-producer tonight. Well, have I got two words for you. Buzz dust! Or we could be gold buzz. And as a partner, I aim to please, so it's your call. I think I need a veteran like you by my side if I'm going to take down the bar. Let's do this. After tonight, they will never forget the name of... Buzz Dust. Or Gold Buzz. Again, it's totally your call. Hey. That's all they have for Finn Balor? Really? Okay, so he says, I know you're looking for a partner to take on the bar, but unfortunately, I already have a match tonight. How do you know I'd want you to team with me? Just a hunch. You're right, it'd be an honor. Maybe some other time, but I will say this. I know you're coming off some injuries, and this is your first match back tonight. I had a long layoff with my shoulder injury a couple years back, and I learned you can't go half speed when you return. It has to be all or nothing, especially against two guys like Sheamus and Cesaro. I appreciate the advice. Something's different about you, and I can't put my finger on it. I switched shampoos recently, maybe that's it. No, I just figured it out. It's that you no longer have a title around your waist. In fact, it wasn't that long ago that you had two titles, and now they're both gone. Things change pretty fast around here, don't they? Not everything changes. You're still a giant tool. There's no way in hell I'd be your tag partner tonight. And there's no way in hell I'd ever ask you. Actually, I, I would ask them as to be my tag partner. I, I like them as. But uh, let's go to the match. <coughs> Buckle up because we have a <coughs> that's going to blow the roof off this place. We have a team led by one of our breakout talents. I can barely sit still. Okay, our first match back. From Salem, Oregon, 
Weighing in at 280 pounds, Carl Cashman Carpenter. I think it would be cool if they made a few changes Bunch to your the guy. Who has sacrificed everything to be here today, even living in his van at times when he was on the Indies. Look, I know I'm not the biggest Buzz supporter, but even I have to admit, that's the definition of paying your dues. So he's been off for a few weeks, um, recovering and, and everything from what Bray did. And we're going to be teaming with Goldust. One of my favorites. Oh, they don't have it in the in the letterbox format. And his partner from Hollywood, California, weighing in at 232 pounds. They should have it in the letterbox format because it always has been. I haven't seen him for a while, so I don't know if they still do that, but I know they used to do that all the time. His entrance was always a uh, letterbox format, where they cut off the top and the bottom of the screen. Erratic. Strange. What an entrance. It's, it's mesmerizing. And he it's doesn't even have a robe. I miss the old gold dust, I really do. And then we're going up against the bar. I really do like the fact um, that the bar took different things from each other. You know, Cesaro wears a kilt and Sheamus wears the sunglasses. And... So I think they're a really good team. I think they're probably more over than they would be allowed to be as uh, singles competitors. A kid named Nicholas, you remember that? How dare you bring that up, Saxton? That's old was money, Byron. That's ridiculous. Thanks, Michael. There was nothing entertaining about that. It was a travesty. Sheamus and Cesaro didn't know how to handle that. Well, at least they've rebounded from it ever since. No shortage of confidence, and why should there be? They don't just set the bar. They, they are the bar. And here we go. Pinfall or submission, we just have to win. Hook them up. What a slam! Impactful. It'll jar your spine. And there we go. And he blocked. Oh, come on. There we go. Corey, you've described Cesaro as a true hybrid. In my opinion, Cesaro may be the best pure athlete in WWE today. Absolutely. The Swiss cyborg can do anything and everything. His power is superhuman. It's uncanny. Cesaro is definitely a top athlete as far as in-ring ability as well. Yep, we'll just hit him a couple times if we can. You guys described Cesaro as a hybrid. 
superstar. The guy just has so many tools to win any matchup. Well, that's because Cesaro does the little things. He knows how to put extra yep. leverage on his pin attempts, how to isolate and manipulate any part of his opponent's anatomy. Cesaro might have the highest in-ring IQ on the WWE roster. Wow. And here comes Sheamus, more than likely. Yep. For many years, members of the WWE Universe and the WWE locker room have felt that tag team matches should have two referees. One referee is in the ring. There we go. The action, we have is a signature. Floor, making sure teams follow the rules and do not engage in potentially damaging behavior. I think it's a good idea. Something perhaps Mr. McMahon might want to consider. This might be it. Oh, my. The point that people have been talking about for years, and that's a second referee being appointed to tag Wow, come matches. on. I remember WWE Hall of Famer and former WWE President Gorilla Monsoon used to express his strong advocacy for two referees being appointed to tag there we go. matches. Uh, we'll we'll get the buff again. Decades, Michael, I don't think it's ever going to happen. We've seen it on occasion, but there I think we go. it's best to let the superstars be responsible for themselves. And the appointed official for the match needs to do the... What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find out. Oh, he's going to do it. And the odds just swung in Buzz's favor. You get dropped like that, you don't get a period. All right, come on. They wow. Just like you. We can't hit it. Man, that was nasty. But he's got to capitalize now. That's a huge opening for Sheamus. Sheamus with the cover. Digging deep. So he stole my finisher. Oh, come on. Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. I hate tag matches. I really do. In off the tag. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Wow, come on. When you talk about great tag teams, we can go all the way back to teams like the Tolos brothers. Stevens and Patterson, Stevens and Bachwinkle, the Texas Outlaws, the Briscoe. Can I get up? The Blackjacks, the Andersons, and the list goes on and on. When you're part of a tag team, the two partners have to travel together, train together, eat together, and be completely in sync with one another. All right, come on. dates back all the way to the early 1900s. Corey, you mentioned some of the classic duos from sports entertainment's incredible history. In today's WWE, the wow, he blocked. Never been more competitive. I don't know who has the edge when it comes to talent. If it's Raw or SmackDown Live, I think it's too close to call. But all the teams truly think and act. I thought we had that. I agree, Michael. Teams such as the Usos, American Alpha, Anderson and Gallows, the New Day, the Hardy Boys, Cesaro and Sheamus. I could be here all day. Oh, and come on. Teams. And when the tag team scene is that competitive, you don't know which team will be wearing the gold. In order to be a premier tag team, a superstar and their teammate must have that continuity where they're a well-oiled machine. Come on. The ring. I'm What's he doing? Techniques, He's like just standing there. there. Isolating your opponent, relegating them to your corner, and making frequent tags so that the fresh man is always in the ring. That's how you keep your opponents off balance. Corey, a few moments ago, you took us through what it takes for a tag team to be successful. The continuity between tag team partners is okay. When a team is able to keep one opponent in the ring for an extended period of time without making a tag, you're able to focus their attack on one individual and one body part. Well, that's what things really I can't really do anything. If you're on the tag team that's in control of the match. There we go. The tag teams who dominated this business, all of them worked well together as a unit and were able to keep an opponent in the ring long enough to make that adversary the focal point of their assault. Come on. Cesaro there. I know what Cesaro's trying to do, but I'm not sure I agree with his tactics here. Oh, what incredible power. Wow, 
All right, let's get him up. Cesaro showing signs that it could be ending soon. And the Swiss we need to rally soon. It just doesn't seem to be bankrupt. Oh, no. Can he finish it? He's got the shoulders down. Okay, we are just about ready. There we go. Here we go a second time. That's what you call a bad landing. The air just came out of the Cesaro section with that one. And let's see if we can get a second one on him here. Hey Byron, just like a pin. Oh no. But can he follow up here? Two. Wow. Cesaro showing his prowess. Big time slam. Vicious. Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. Okay, I had him. Okay, that'll work. All right, come on. It's got to be pinfall or submission. So it's got to be in the ring. One. Nope. Alright, come on. And he's heading back in. There we go. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Oh boy, he is rolling. Let's get him over there. Oh, what impact. And one more time. down the hard way. This is his opportunity to win this thing. By now, you'd think that would have been better scouted. And here we go. Hey, Byron, just like right across the back of the neck. That's that should do it. Two, there. three, we got him. Okay. Challenges Buzz faced tonight. He still managed to come out on top. What a return! There we go. And oh, here's Bray. Apparently, Bray Wyatt has unfinished oh. business, and he's not alone. Oh, and look at the punches teeing off. It, is That's that Miz? Oh, from behind. That'll give you some whiplash. Buzz is outnumbered now. What are they gonna do? Ooh, what an elbow! Ouch. Bray Wyatt making his presence felt. Who what a is that? Shocking turn of events. It's Finn Balor. Luckily for Buzz, he appears to have made an ally in Finn Balor. I want to know who the heck yeah. guy in the sheet mask was. Byron, go ask Bray. No thanks. I welcomed you back last week because I missed you, Buzz. I really did. We became so close before your unfortunate injuries took you away from me. So I waited eagerly for you to return while you convalesced. But it was during that time that I met a man. Someone who was once a host of your parasitic behavior. You traveled up and down the road together. But when it came time to emerge from the underground, you left his carcass for the vultures. He was no use to you anymore. But he is of great use to me. Is that cool? You see, in our last encounter, you destroyed something important to me, and now I will destroy someone important to you. But this is of your doing, Buzz. You left him for the vultures, remember? 
I'm simply doing what comes naturally. Swooping down and consuming the flesh that you left exposed. That's gotta be cool. We still have no idea who this guy is. It is. You have got to be kidding me. Bray Wyatt has recruited Cole Okay. Quinn? Or whatever's left of him. Somehow, this just got even more personal. This is interesting. Um... You're still in there somewhere. You're just confused. I know he can play tricks on because that's what he did to me, but whatever he told you, it's not true. I'm your friend. It's a falling on deaf ears. Cole, show him whose side you're on. Last time we saw Cole Quinn, he was wrestling in Japan. <laughs> this is not the same Cole Quinn we saw then. No, that Cole Quinn was on good terms with Buzz, and now it appears wow. Bray Wyatt and, is okay, down here's Kurt. physically and mentally. It's obvious that the issues between you two are far from over. So at Survivor Series, you're going to face each other in a rematch. But this time, I'm going to make sure that the match makes it to the ring and stays there. And there will also be no way for anyone to interfere. Because your match will be taking place in a steel okay. cage. Buzz is going to get a shot to even the score with Bray Wyatt in a steel cage match at Survivor Series. <coughs> Up next, we have singles action. We have one of the best talents on the roster to date against Bray Wyatt. Who will reign supreme? <laughs> and here we are at Survivor Series. A steel cage match. So this should be a good match. Um, I know I can win cage matches. And it's going to be Buzz against was a Bray. Athlete in high school. He's going to need every bit of his athletic ability to prevail tonight. I didn't realize they gave out varsity letters for whining, taking shortcuts, and failing Ooh. upwards. That's hurtful, Graves. So I really just want to get get rid of Bray Wyatt. So we just need to get him out of our way so we can go back to chasing a title. The fireflies are out. Okay. That's Bray Wyatt. I don't see Cole anywhere. Just has an innate ability to mentally disturb the shadows in this are so good. Him. And he's awake now. He's woken, Cole distinctly different explain that to me Corey one that cannot truly understand woken wisdom can never adequately understand it what kind of riddle is that woken sounds like gibberish all I know is that he believes he's been reincarnated that he's been freed of Sister Abigail. Well, I'm not going to argue with him. 
Ray Wyatt's true essence is no longer suppressed. So I don't know what we're going to need to do in this match like if uh, if we're going to have to win it ourselves or if it's going to be like the other ones we've Bray's had with Bray Wyatt where we just have to get it to a certain point. Well, Bray's opponent tonight is going to find that out firsthand. Bask in the warmth of Woken Wisdom. Okay. So, get into the ring. Let's lower the cage. And get this over with. We'll get Bray out of our way. Okay, the cage is coming down. Here we go. Uh, Red Health and Pinham. Okay. On the line to take each other down. These superstars have waited a long time for this match to take place. So pretty much we just need to uh, get him to Red Health and go for a pin. What a stop! Great. There we go. Hip attack. Yeah. Bray Wyatt on the defensive. We all know though this guy. So basically we're like just him. we're just going after Bray with everything we have right now. So the quicker we can get this the quicker we can get him down to red health and pin him, the better. We don't want him to get any type of an upper hand. Okay, there we go. Let's get him into the corner. Boom, what impact! The steel cage, it what does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find out. He's gonna do it! This might be there it! Go. This might be it, guys. Nobody can sustain a drop like that, Michael. And let's see if this is going to go. Hey Byron, just like you. Red health. Oh no. Will Buzz be and pin. That'll pretty much do it. And there we go. Cole's in the ring. Wait a second. That's Cole Quinn. So much for the cage preventing anyone from interfering. Okay. And it's 2 on 1 yet again. Oh wow. Here comes Finn Balor! This is exactly what Kurt Angle didn't want to happen. Too and Cole got out of the ring pretty quick, too. Sister and Abigail one, on two, this three. Finn Balor can't help him. It's over! Bray Wyatt has managed wow. to defeat Buzz in a steel cage match. We're all hell broke loose. Okay, well that was still a good match. I'm kind of liking that story. That was really weird with, uh, with Finn, though. I've never seen that. Welcome back to Raw, where Buzz is still feeling the effects from his brutal match last night with Bray Wyatt. You're too late. I used up all the trainer's ice. I don't blame you. That was quite the battle out there last night. Well, thanks again for trying to even up the odds. No need for thanks. After what they did to me last night, it's become a little bit personal for me, too. I just can't believe that I gave it everything I had and Bray still managed to come out on top. Was it really everything? Of course it was. What are you saying? I'm saying, to beat someone like Bray Wyatt, you need to get past what you think are your limits and embrace your inner demon. At least, that's what worked for me. I'm willing to do whatever it takes to beat Bray and get Cole back. I just have no idea how I'm supposed to find my inner demon. Okay. If it is demons that you seek, you should consider venturing to the multiverse with me again. Wait, did he say again? Uh, yeah, I've never been to the multiverse with you before. You have been before, in a different vessel, which is why it was deleted from your memory. 
Uh, I don't know about this. You said you were willing to do whatever it takes. Uh, I'm not sure about this either, Buzz. Yeah, neither am I. So here we are on Raw. Uh, the only person we can talk to is Kurt Angle. But that is going to end our episode for today. I want to thank everybody for watching. My name is I'll stream that. Hit that like and subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications.